So every one of us in this room and our children are hit with $30 million worth of marketing a day. Turn the TV on. Watch how much marketing you're hit with. Your kids in school right now, a lot of the things that, that in programs inside their classrooms and in their bus, all that equipment is paid and bought by advertisers. I totally love that they're putting money into that, but the point is that this, this type of marketing here is literally starting to brainwash early. As young as two years old, kids as young as two years old have already identified the golden arches as a health food. Two. You think that's a little, it's a little skewed to start off at two? Broccoli is not considered as healthy as a Happy Meal. And when they ask him about that, when they ask two th up to six-year-olds about what, it, what makes them think that it's healthy, they say because it puts smiles on adults' faces. Happy meal. Happy meal. So our marketing has gotten way more advanced uh, than to what actually the truth is about. So if you ever watch, watch when you see these fast food, food commercials now, especially like McDonald's, you will never see a McDonald's commercial where there's not at least one scene with an adult that smiles on his face. Pretty fantastic stuff, huh? Brilliant, right? Before, when they used to allow you to have cigarette smoking on TV, they would make sure they would have these sexy puffs and these big puffs. And if you're a smoker, you know that you can puff a certain amount and get a state change. So they, were, they would show the different state changes according to the, whether it was uh, you know, a man or a woman or, or what kind of job they had. And so you can identify with that. When they called on how high the sales were getting with that and how deadly the cigarettes were, they actually cut that out. Beer commercials. There's a psychological response in your hypothalamus when you see people yawn, it makes you yawn. When you see people drink, it makes you want to drink. So now they're not allowed to drink beer in a commercial. Did you ever notice that in a beer commercial? Have you ever seen anybody ever drink a beer in a commercial? You don't see it. It's not, it's not allowed. It's subliminal marketing. You're not allowed to do it anymore. But this stuff works. This stuff literally for the last couple hundreds of years has worked. Are you, anybody Facebook friends with me? Posted something out there though and it had the 1960s uh, Camel cigarette commercials. And it had your doctor smokes camels because they're good for you. It's good for lung, it's good for, uh, what was it, um, asthma. That's what it's promoted as. So you think advertising is, has changed since then? No. The same exact things are happening now. It's all about what can sell the product. 1.6 trillion, 1.6 trillion with a T, that's what our healthcare costs are. Now to put this in perspective for you, if I say a million seconds, that's going to be about 32 days. A million. Okay. Now, if I say a billion, so a million to billion, if I say a billion seconds, it's going to be about 32 years. See the difference? So sometimes you hear like millions and billions or thousands, like, oh, those numbers are so big, that's, that they're just big numbers. A trillion, a trillion, a trillion seconds is 32,000 years. Does that put it in perspective? That's our healthcare cost. That's your healthcare cost. So when I do these things and people say, well, what does this have to do with me? You know, what does somebody else have to do with me? Why is this information so important? This is one of the reasons why. Because what's happening right now is we're actually bankrupting our country because of healthcare cost. Number one healthcare cost, US by far. Number 34 world ranking. If you take all the countries in the world, we spend a gazillion dollars more than any other, even remotely close to the second country in the world. We're ranked 34th in the world for health. There, there's, there's third world countries whose health statistics are better than us. And health statistics work by longevity and how many children die at birth. That's how they come up with that calculation. So we've got a lot of advancement, but we're really not that, that healthy. Number one reason for bankruptcy in the United States is, is medical bills. Not the bills you get from my office. They're not that big, but medical costs. 64% of all bankruptcies in the United States are related to medical bills. So, is it working? Is it working? No. Matter of fact, it's getting worse. If you look at uh, the statistics, though, when you, when you actually start to break down what these real numbers are, most of us were led to believe that you got a disease because you were genetically predisposed to it. That your mom had heart disease, you're gonna have heart disease. That you have breast cancer, or your mom had breast cancer, you're gonna have breast cancer. You had testicular cancer, you have a higher chance of getting it. It's not actually true. The truth is only 2% of diseases, 2% of the diseases that you have, are genetic. That means 98% of your health is up to you. 98% of it.